What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you yet another brand new video. I mean, brand freaking new. I'm telling you guys, like I'm sure you already saw in the thumbnail. I'm sorry, but this has got to be, this has got to be one of the most epic, most insane attacks I've ever seen. I guarantee you, you have not seen an attack like this ever before. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about once we go to the war map. And not only that, this hit was done fresh, guys. This hit was done fresh. Nope, that's a war against Kronos. All right, we're going to go ahead and check out the war log right here. We did have a random matchup against none other than Immoral Thieves. Again, this was a random matchup. We, we did have one extra Town Hall 10 on the map. The Town Hall 11s were even. But as you guys see, we did get a very solid five-star victory. The final 111 to 106. There were all kinds of beautiful attacks from this war. We did have quite a few 10v10s. Uh, I will have cover a little bit more coverage to uh, this war uh, a little later, maybe another day or so. But this video is solely dedicated to, again, one of the most epic attacks that not only me, but the entire clan has ever seen. Uh, we'll go ahead right down here uh, to number 20. Okay, we'll go ahead and scout it. A and I mean, this is a solid base. This is not a pushover base. Uh, very, very difficult. I mean, when you look at, you know, how you're going to take down uh, the air defenses, you know, the, the very good in Infernal Tower placement, uh, pretty hard to Lalo, especially uh, Sui Lalo. Might be difficult to, to get a queen charge off. However, okay, guys, we have Goofs who brought, you know, let's just hit replay and then I'll go, hit, go ahead and hit pause. Look down, guys, look down in the troop bar, okay? Again, this was a fresh 10v10 using what? Using five lightning spells uh he does have a max haste and a max quake in the clan castle you guys can go ahead and see down uh in the troop bar also he's got 29 balloons uh two camp hounds one hound is going to be coming out of the cc he's going to be zapping okay not only the inferno tower okay not only the clan castle but the icing on top of this fat ass cake is he's going to zap the enemy queen, okay? All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and hit play. You guys need to see it for yourself. You guys have to see this attack, okay? Earthquake went down, softened up the air sweeper, softened up the enemy CC, and softened up the Inferno Tower. Here it goes right here. The queen is going to fit in that little nook right between the CC and the Inferno Tower. Down go two zaps, and there goes the other two as she did move up to that bomb tower. She is dead, guys. Uh, CC is gone. Inferno Tower is gone. Enemy Queen is gone. Okay, we have a baby drag. Like I said, he is going to be doing a Sui Hero Lalo on this base. And of course, he doesn't have to worry about the Queen. And he doesn't have to worry about... We don't even know. We will never know. Uh, un unless unless Immoral Thieves sees this video and puts in the comment section below, we will never, ever know what was inside of that clan castle. Uh, okay, King going in. He did bring a few wall breakers uh, to go ahead and break uh, to break King in. Queen following right behind him. Uh, Baby Dragon and one wizard set a very nice funnel on each side of this entry. So he's got one air defense down. Uh, Queen is also going to be getting this expo down. And just look at the value he's going to be getting uh, solely from his queen. And he's pretty much swagged a hound. Uh, Goof's pretty much swagged a hound. Uh, he thought that air defense was already down. Dropped it maybe just three or four seconds too early. Not going to matter. Queen gets the air defense and the wizard tower down over there. And as you see, he's doing a lolo down here at six o'clock. Uh, followed up by one haste, and that was it. That is it for his spells, guys. He had one haste coming in and just uh, just swarmed this base with loons. Nice and patient uh, with that loon deployment. Uh, does have a couple uh, Teslas over here uh, that, that were fit on 
each side of the mortar over there between the two spell factories. But look at how many loons he has left. And notice there is zero splash damage. There's no wizard towers left at this 12 o'clock compartment up here or this 12 o'clock section of the base. The last corridor of this base that has any defenses in it. Uh, the last air targeting defenses were the two Teslas. As you guys can see, those are going to go down no problem. Uh, did bring a few minions, uh, level five minions at that. And he did have uh, uh, quite a few pups as well. Completely ended up wrecking this base. And not only that, doing it fresh. There was no scouts on this base. Could not believe it. The chat went absolutely insane when this attack went down. Uh, you tell me, I triple dog dare you to fresh 10v10 in a competitive war against a decent base, a very good base, using five lightning spells, guys. I freaking dare you to do it. Uh, Goose, Goose proving us uh, day after day, war after war, uh, how good this guy is. Like I said, one of the most, uh, thank you, BRG, one of the most insane attacks, not only myself, but that the entire clan has ever seen. He was getting tagged in our server pretty much uh, from when that attack went off all the way until the very end of the war. He was getting tags. I don't even think the guy went to sleep. Please, guys, let me know what you guys think of that attack down below. I'm telling you guys, Clashing FFS, we are bringing you guys so much content. We're bringing you guys... Uh, uh, live attacks with wives. We're bringing you guys le uh, CWO League recaps. We're bringing you fresh 10v10s using five lightning spells. It's all going down right here. Uh, clashing FFS. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Always trying to bring you guys brand new, fresh content. And I mean, lo and behold, a fresh 10v10 using five Zapquakes. I dare you to get one of those off in your in your war. Gooves did it. Let's see if you can do it. Uh, big shout out to Gooves. Big shout out to everybody in Forge from Steel. Shout out uh, to all the guys and girls over in Immortal Thieves. We did get a very solid victory. I will have some more coverage to this war. Uh, I'll upload that in the very next video. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.